everybody, John D. from John D. TV. Here we are at day 21 of our house follow. We want to bring you back and show you the structure is completely framed up. We have uh, mechanical trades in there right now, putting in the plumbing, HVAC, and electrical. And we also have concrete crews here prepping. So what we're gonna do is I wanted to take you in and show you some specific flashing details and a little detail about the structural integrity of the truss system connecting to the house. And what we'll do then after that is we'll come back and we'll take a look at the mechanicals when everybody's finished working and we have a nice quiet space to work in and I can show you some of our special details. In the past for hurricane protection they used to put little hurricane straps on to fasten the truss to the top plate of the wall. It had multiple nails, four nails into the truss, four nails into the top plate. Now they've come out, Timberlock Company has come out with a special screw that's rated uh, for strength in order to hold the truss down and the guys can just actually stand right here on the floor with a special drill extension and put that six inch screw up through the bottom of the truss. There's special screw that have a red coating on them. I can show them to you right there. And that way the building inspector can understand that it is the proper screw in there. It leaves a little bit of red dye on there. This is really cut down on time for the framers when they're building the home and everything is more uh, exact when it's being done. We don't have missing nails and that kind of thing. So if you're ever in a house that just got framed and you're concerned where are my hurricane straps, maybe just double check and take note to see if they have those timber lock screws installed. I wanted to talk about how we seal our windows and doors uh, when we penetrate through the exterior of our homes. So first, um, as is very common in building, we have house wrap on that's a vapor and water barrier to keep anything from that gets behind the siding to penetrate through into the home. What we do is we cut an opening in the, uh, where the window opening is and we flap up up there at the top. And then we put the window in and we use this, it's called flashing tape, so it's super adhesive. And we put the window in and we put the two sides on and we put the bottom on and then we put the top on and we cover it with that top flap. Additionally on the bottom, we have sill protection that we put in there before we put the window. And you can see right here, this funny looking wrap. This is for in the corners. Cause if you know, if you cut like wrapping paper, you cut it into an opening, you get a little gap there. So we want to really super seal those areas. We get the window in and then they actually roll this tape on so it adheses. That way you're 100% protected from any window leakage, any water getting inside there, and also it cuts down on drafts. One of our flashing details, whenever you have concrete meeting the structure, so here we have our front porch slab that we need to pour, and the concrete's actually gonna go up against the wooden part of the structure. So what we do is we put this rubberized flashing, it's called Nevastrol, and we actually place that below the house wrap, as you can see, so it's lapped properly for water to sheet down over. That way, when we pour the concrete up against the wooden structure, we don't have any concern for rotting or anything, moisture issues in the future. So that's the best way to protect the, the home from any water intrusion, you know, blowing rain, that kind of thing. So we got to get that in nice and early. The guys are actually here today getting ready and prepping for concrete. So I wanted to make sure to show you that flashing detail. I hope you enjoyed a couple of the details that we showed you today. And again, we'll come back when it's a little quieter, a lot of work going on here today. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a great day.